Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This is SEL0320. This is your boy, Joe Johnson, 030. Representing JBS. Yeah. Uh, we are back here again for another uh, movie review. Uh, this is a Netflix exclusive, but the film itself was created in 2014. Like, when Boyega was really blowing up, and on his way to stardom, he had came off of, uh, what was that, Jane? Um, Attack the Block. Like, I, that was when I instantly started kind of looking for his new material. And then by that time, 2015, you know, he debuted in his biggest film, which was, you know, Star Wars The Force Awakens. But this film, um, Imperial Dreams, was directed by uh, Malik Vital. He hasn't directed that much. This is the last one he did in 2014. But this story surrounds a 21-year-old man um, coming out of prison and trying to make a life for his son. And... Um, I mean, dude, it, this movie is really good, man. Um, the the story itself was very condensed. It reminded me of uh, Room in a lot of different ways from just how connected he was with his son. Uh, but the character Bambi, like what he has to go through is a living embodiment for, you know what I'm saying, like African-American male in, you know what I'm saying, in a situation where everything around him is destruction and um it's just hard i mean it's just hard to maintain life in general um in the situation that he's in and they they did an amazing job showcasing it to me from a technical standpoint from the visuals but from the dialogue i was like these are realistic situations that i've seen so i don't know man what did you think uh Oh man, where I start, man. This is like the whole movie. I, I really enjoyed, like, uh, but yeah, I just have to piggyback for everything you said, man. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, you see the words right out of my mouth, like, like, I, I, like, and one thing that really got me was a lot of the dialogue, like in this movie, in this film, is like really realistic. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Very realistic. Like I can literally, like, I like. I can hear someone say that, like, yeah, or say some of the things, but, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's, it, okay, it's, it's really hard for us to kind of explain and yeah. articulate it to you guys yeah, because this is, these are, these are things that we know. Yeah. These are things that we've lived through. Like, I mean, to, yeah. people can sit there and say, you grew up in the ghetto, you grew up in the hood, but if you don't actually know what that looks like. Yeah. You can't explain to somebody. And this movie identifies and caters to that environment for the good and the bad. Like, like one of his, um, his cousins, straight up, like, as soon as he got out of prison, his cousin looked rough. Yeah. This, this dude yo, looked like... He looked rough. I was like, yo, this dude, for real, like, he looked like, yo, he's, like, in the streets. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, I think his name was Gideon. And I was like... I mean, he he just looked like he was not in a good space, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the communication that they had, he was the best thing for him in that situation to exactly. really uplift him and give him real and not just that, Boyega does such a good job of showing a man that has reformed his life for a reason. Because there are moments where like any other person would have blown up. Like some of the things that he has to go through. Like, I was yeah. like, yo, I would have kirked out on yeah. somebody. Somebody would have catched the beat down. Probably somebody would have died. And, like, some of the, the actions that he made made me sh it show glimpses of, you know, how he used to be. I think there was this one moment when somebody got killed <clears throat> and he was in the car and he had this random dialogue and he was talking to himself. And I knew, because I've heard dialogue like this and I've, I've, I've felt certain things like this, where you want to get back at the dudes that just did what just happened. And I, I could tell through his dialogue what he was doing. He was trying to get himself out of it. But it's like you can't escape who you were, you know what I'm saying, from a lot of different ways. But it's like throughout the film, he's writing and leaving these amazing detailed articles that he's been writing. So he could be a survivor. The dude said he was coming in and out of prison since he's been 12 years old. Yeah. And then not just that, like, I don't want to spoil the movie, but like the baby mom is in a whole different other situation. And it's like, he don't really have anybody. Yeah. His mom in a situation. Like, 
if y'all have seen Moonlight, okay, y'all know Naomi Harris is an amazing mother that's dealing with uh, alcohol addiction, or not alcohol addiction, but drug addiction. He has his, you know, this kind of dad figure and a drug dealer. And I mean, they, they do a lot in a short amount of time. But I feel like the way that they embodied this environment, this could have been honestly nominated for a lot of different ways, if not for the cinematography and the, the, the showmanship of the environment itself. The acting performances were really well done. Oh, like, yeah. there was this one guy, there was his oh, uncle, yeah. he was played by uh, Glenn Bummer. Oh, uh, y'all like, see him in, uh, it was, uh, Bobby Johnson. Yeah, yeah. like, he Bobby was, Johnson, man. he was in, um, The Day After Tomorrow, he was in Showgirls, he was in a lot of drink. Speed, but this dude, as his uncle, man, <laughs> no. I was like, this dude is good, for real. Yeah, like, this dude is an OG. Man, like they, everybody could play in their roles, man. They killed it, man. They like did. Series. They did. So I was like, <laughs> like I'm like, yo, like for real, man. They killed these roles, man. Like, like they, you, you, to a T, like they killed these roles. Yeah, you can't. I have to go and take you to a spot that I know, just so you can be able to understand the identification of these characters. And the environment they're living in because yeah. it, it seems unrealistic, but this is real. Like, this is reality yeah. for a lot of people. And that's like, if you sit there and think about it, it's like, this is terrible. This shouldn't happen. Like, the system is broken. Like, how mm -hmm. can you, you know, expect to live coming out of a situation like this? And I don't want to spoil the movie, but it's like, there's a lot of things that Bambi goes through in this film. It's like, it's designed for him to fail. Legend. Like, like he's literally in a position where he's going to be right back in this situation. There's no other way, you know? And it's that's like, legend. I think that's where Boyega really shines because his devotion to his son keeps him centered. Even when, like, he has every reason to kind of lash out. Yeah, it, it, <clears throat> if not, you know what I'm saying? It, I would say maybe his son is probably more reason for him too, you know? Uh that's real. Yeah. That's real. Cause that one situation towards the end, like, yeah. oh my gosh, bro. I would've never mind. Like, like I'm trying legit, not to be emotional, y'all. Like legit and like there's one scene, I'm not gonna say what happens, but there's one scene where he goes to the DMV and oh, it's like dumb. and he put he lines up everything that's like that's kinda stacked up against him and I'm just like, bro, like that's that's legit. Like that's that's real, you know what I mean? And yeah. this, and I was like, yo, like, that's, that's, just, that's just one. This is one reality. Story. Yeah, and it's not getting no easier. Exactly. And it's not getting any better for anybody. Exactly. So, and, I'm just like, and like, like, and that's that's like that's not even like something like like Hollywood or whatever can like fabricate. Like legit, that real. happens. It's real. Like, that's that's real. And yeah. um, I was like, dag, man. This 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 is a really good film. Um, it's a really good eye opener. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I and I, the performance is amazing. It's it's a good good film. I think the narration um, really well. Like I watched the uh, the the trailer and I was like off the trailer, off the um, the narration of the the tra in the trailer. I was like, man, like I gotta watch this film. Yeah. Um, but all throughout the movie, man, it's deep. Like his his uh I would say what's like a monologue or whatever. Yeah, but I mean it's it, he 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 spits like and it's just like yo like yo that's deep. It's, it's really powerful. It's I'm really not powerful. sure who did the screenplay. Yeah, um, but they really they powerful. spent some serious time with it. The thing that I have a problem with this film is that this movie should have been out in the theater. This was made in 2014, yeah. and like thank yeah. God for Netflix. Yeah, because we would have never seen it. I was I waiting for the it. film. Yeah. But I was like, dude, this could have been a cont contender against Moonlight in a lot of different yeah, ways. I mean, sure. Moonlight has some amazingly gripping themes that have never been touched before. I, I can admit to that. Y'all know I gave it a 10 out of 10. But this took longer and spent things that, you know what I'm saying, it's, I, I would call it a hybrid between Moonlight and Pursuit of Happiness. And in the middle room. Like, that is, all three of those films together is the embodiment of this, and they did an amazing job. I give it a 10. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a movie that people need to see, uh, but they're not going to be able to stomach some. 
But then I think the people that can identify with the environment and understand it, they're like, dang, respect, it's real. This is a real film. This is a real performance and I mean, Boyega, bro, he's a, yeah. he's a living Denzel yeah. slash Mark. That's yeah, Will Smith. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> the dude, hats off, man. Because I'm like, bro, he did it. He, he, they, everybody in this film, man, slayed these roles. Yeah. They killed him. And his accent was gone. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. We were a little emotional. We took that personally. Um, yeah, man. But maybe you should take it personal. Take this movie real. You know what I'm saying? Imperial Dreams, shout out to you. Shout out to you, boy. If you watch this review, you yeah, did your thing, my dude. Right. We can't wait for you oh, in episode yeah, eight. We can't it. wait for you in, uh, what's that, uh, Drain that, uh, with the robots or whatever. Yeah, he's gonna be in Pacific Rim, too. He's gonna we got you, Rim, He's the son of, uh, he's he, he just Elba. Yeah, no, but no. Yeah. No. Wait, wait. All right, we gotta go. Keep it locked. JBS ain't gonna stop. Peace, everybody. He's son of, Woo! wait, he's son of.